whenever our country needs us like in war situation or in external or in internal emergency good morning aspirants uh, now we are going to see the fundamental duties uh, so let's see the ppts uh, this is your fundamental duties part fundamental duties you can summarize this as a set of moral and ethical obligations fundamental duties are moral and ethical obligations on the citizen right it is our duty to follow all this uh, all the 11 fundamental duties okay mentioned here this is our obligations this is our moral or ethical obligations okay this the fundamental duties are expected to uphold towards a nation okay we have to follow these duties by our own this is your definition part and now you can see we have this is fundamental duties comes in part 4a article 51a under article 51a okay we have 11 fundamental duties we have total 11 fundamental duties we have to remember all this 11 okay all this 11 duties under article 51a you can see this is under part 4a okay all these duties are mentioned here first your fundamental first duties is to abide by the constitutions and respect its ideals and institutions the national flag and the national anthem we have to respect our national flag and our national anthem okay now the second is to cherish and follow the noble ideals that inspired the national struggle for freedom like mahatma gandhi non violence okay after that your third fundamental duties is to uphold and protect the sovereignty unity and integrity of india now the fourth part is to defend the country and render the national services when called upon to do so okay whenever our country needs us like in war situation or in external or in internal emergency we will be able to render our national services to our nation okay now come to the next to promote harmony and spirit of common brotherhood okay amongst all the people of india transcending religious linguistic regional or sectional diversities to renounce parties derogatory to the dignity of women okay we have to maintain harmony and the spirit of common brotherhood these are duties we have to follow okay next to value and preserve the rich heritage of our country or our composite culture okay as we know india is a diverse country we have diverse culture in our uh, in our nation right uh, everybody have their own religion we have to respect each other's religions like hindus muslims christians jains everyone okay we have to respect our composite culture we have to maintain our composite culture okay then move to the next part to protect and improve the natural environment we have to protect our natural environment including which things like forest lakes rivers wildlife and to have compassion for our living creatures okay we do not have to disturb the natural balance okay we have to maintain our environment we have to maintain our environment clean air water this is our duty okay so that we can take clean air and water from our environment after that to develop a scientific temper 
this is very important this is asked in your fundamental duties like pyqs often so just remember this duty we have to develop a scientific temper humanism and the spirit of inquiry spirit of asking question the spirit of asking uh, you can say have an intellect to ask relevant questions okay to we have to develop this scientific temper in our students move to the next to safeguard the public property and to absorb violence okay hame violence se hi apne aap ko bachana hai okay to strive towards the next fundamental duty is to strive towards the excellence in all the spheres of individual and collective individual and collective activity so that the nation constantly rises to higher level of endeavor and achievement okay we have to achieve our higher level of endeavor we have to be focused to provide opportunity next fundamental duty your 11th and last fundamental duty is to provide opportunities for education to his child and ward like right to education okay from the age of 6 to 14 years of age This is added by the eighty sixth Constitutional Amendment Act of two thousand twenty. Those are those like two thousand two. Okay, uh, right to education to six to fourteen years of age of children by the eighty sixth. Just remember this Constitutional Amendment and the year both. Okay, two thousand two. Now let's move to the next slide. okay now see the features of the fundamental duties as we have already seen the all the 11 fundamental duties now see the features of fundamental duties features of fundamental duties this is under article 51a distinct features will be it is non justiciable that's why i am calling it as a duties that's why it is not uh, you can say it is not uh, compulsory for the citizen to it it is not justiciable okay you cannot move to the court to if you do not follow these duties this is non justiciable but we actually expect that you should follow these duties you should follow the fundamental duties of our constitution okay this is non justiciable non justiciable just remember this after that you can see not enforceable by law through judiciary scope of applicability these duties are confined to citizens only uh, only and do not extend to the foreigners yeah this point you can remember fundamental duties are not given to the foreigners it is only applicable for the indians okay just remember f duties are not applicable to the foreigners it is only applicable to our indian citizens only after that this is derived from the sources like you can see the soviet union okay from russia thoughts of mahatma gandhi and other constitutional aspect it is directive in nature this duties guide the behavior and conduct of citizens and serve as a moral compass for shaping and responsible a law abiding society okay we want to make a law abiding society after that you can see codification of indian values they refer to values they have been a part of the indian traditions and practices okay thus they essentially are a codification of task integral to the indian way of life after that you can see what is the other future features that is moral and civic this is moral and civic in nature some of them are moral duties cherishing noble ideals of national freedom struggle while others are civic duties respecting the constitution now move to the another slide we have seen the features of the fundamental duties now we have to see the criticism of the fundamental duties what is the criticism you can uh, we have seen the uh, in features it is non justiciable itself is a criticism too okay it's non justiciability 
ओके बिकॉज इट इज नॉन जस्टिसबल फंडामेंटल ड्यूटीज रेज इज क्वेश्चन अबाउट द इफेक्टिवनेस दैट्स वाई नॉट ऑल पीपल आर टेकिंग इट सीरियसली ओके इफेक्टिवनेस एंड यूटिलिटी एज देयर आर नो लीगल रिपरकॉशंस फॉर फेलिंग टू एड एड टूडे ओके आफ्टर दैट सेकेंड पॉइंट इज नॉन एग्जॉस्टिव द लिस्ट ऑफ ड्यूटीज इज नॉन एग्जॉस्टिव एट इट डज नॉट कवर सम वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ड्यूटीज such as casting votes this is not actually you can say this fundamental duties are not complete okay like casting votes uh, votes paying taxes are not mentioned here okay then your next point is subjectivity and ambiguity some critics argue that the language used to articulate fundamental duties is vague it's very ambiguous in nature so this is your criticism after that imbalance with the rights critics argue critics argue that while the constitution guarantees fundamental rights to the citizen the imposition of fundamental duties creates a imbalance with the rights okay they argue that citizens should have enforceable rights without the imposition of corresponding duties as duties may influence upon individual autonomy and their freedom now your last part is inadequate promotion and awareness many citizens are unaware of their duties unaware of the fundamental duties of course there are so many uh, people who are unaware that we have fundamental duties mentioned in our constitution too okay perceive them as secondary to their rights undermining their effectiveness in fostering a sense of civic responsibility that's why we are not able to you can say inculcate civic responsibility in our citizens so this is the your criticism part now this is all uh, this is uh, all the fundamental duties the features part and the criticism part now you have to just you can mention all these points in your mains answer writing while solving questions regarding fundamental duties so that's all